Greetings viewers, I'm Trastanari. Welcome to Cedric and the Revolution. A fun little uh, point and click adventure game made by our friends at Fallen Angels. So, let's go. Yes. Sure, why not? Good morning, sir! Your own new, new and awesome apprentice has arrived! Uh, hey, Cedric. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> So this is a smithy. Awesome! Will this thing be the anvil? Cool! Ah, the stove where the blacksmith makes all his metal all melty. Fun! And of course, the blacksmith himself. Oh, hey there, master! I'm ready for action! Uh, listen. Of course, of course, continue. I can't take you, shorty. What? You can't be my apprentice. I, I can't afford it anymore. But you promised. Look, I'm sorry, but because of the recent tax raises, I just can't afford an apprentice. Go figure. I think I'm gonna cry. Sorry, said. I'll cry like a baby. Uh, well, if you work for free, you can still be my apprentice. <laughs> for free? Are you insane? Who'd do such a thing? It's silly. You're, you're ridiculous. Well, not me, for that's for sure. Oh, what a tragedy. Tragedy! Tragedy indeed! Damn the king and his stupid taxes. Oh! Ooh, I have an idea. An idea? Yep, an idea. We'll round up a few guys, go to the cancel, and demonstrate. You know, with big signs, burning barrels, and whatnot. What do you think? That's a good idea, Shorty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My current taxes, I can only barely manage to pay my expenses. It's not fun to live like that. So, yeah, let's go. Yay! Awesome. Uh, let's see. Pick up bellows. I'm gonna bury your, bury your bellows for a while. Pick up. Do not pick up anvil, that's ridiculous. Pick up the hammer. I now own a hammer. No, you don't. I'll let you borrow it. Uh, pick up... Where are they? Here somewhere. Where are they? They're there. Matches. I can't reach them! Being short isn't fun. Talk to Victor. Hey, Victor! Yeah? Why are you so much taller than me? Everyone in my family is big. That's what she said. I think. My mom is pretty tall, tall, too, but I'm still slightly short. Slightly short? You're the shortest in town, kid in town I know. You're not cheering anyone up that way. Being short has its advantages. The ladies will think you're younger than you really are. Um, that would only have a use for gramps like you. Ow, harsh. Could you get those matches up on that shelf? Sure, shorty. Awesome. Uh, pick up. Don't think there's anything else in here to pick up. So let's go. Awesome. Let's see. Use hammer on. Let's not use hammer on Cedric. That's silly. Use hammer on nails. Easy as pie. Pick up fishing net. I'll borrow this. Enlightenment. A.K.A. Adventure Game Syndrome. You know that refusing to pay taxes is a punishable crime. But taxes for unloading my cargo here? Traders will stop coming here. It's gonna ruin the town's economy. Uh, your hair. Ahem, <laughs> well, pay up now. I don't want to discuss any longer. Hello? We're in the middle of a conversation. Scram, shorty. Jerk. Hmm. It appears he's wearing some sort of a toupee. Use bellows on tax collector. Bellows, wig, wind. Yes. My creativity knows no bounds. Hey, gosh. I say, that thing flies me even more elegant than seagulls. Oh, look, it's somersaulted. Oh, not in the water. 
Oh yeah. Now it's sinking. Uh, I'll be back later for uh, I need to go uh, shopping. It ever floats your boat. I like, get better hold on to your cap or or the wind will blow it off. Nice bellows you're carrying there, by the way. Yes, my bellows are quite excellent. Thank you very much, good sir. Suspicious. Thanks for getting rid of them, ghetto. You're starting to get on my nerves. Hit. Captain Howard. Hit. Victor. Oh. Excuse. Uh, let's talk. Let's look at Captain Howard. I know him. He's the captain of a trader ship. Good. Talk to Captain Howard. Ahoy there. What's up, kiddo? What's up? What kind of captain would say that? I prefer an ahoy, I, or ar with an extra tongue rolling. Um, oh, okay. Ahoy there, Sonny. Much better, thanks. How's business, Captain? Bad. Very bad. It's too expensive to do business in this town. They also confiscate my ship until I pay expenses. That's not nice at all! I... Want to come to the castle and demonstrate with us? Sounds like a good idea. However, I lost my monocle. I'm blind as a bat without it. Monocle! It's a royal part of my overall appearance. We'll see if we can find it. I get it. What a stylish hat! Pretty cool, eh? I nabbed it off a sleeping pirate in the bar. Um, that's a bad idea. That cannot be a good idea. Pick up Monocle. Oh, I love when things are this easy. You only need to reach into this hole and... Plot convenience, Crab! Pick up Crab. Ha, just you wait, Crab. I've tamed the wild beast. Well done, Shorty. I'll call it Pinchy. Pinchy the Crab. Hit Pinchy the Crab. Aw. Use Victor. You're a little vague. You killed the cat. Pick up Monocle. Let's look at our inventory for a while. Look at Bellows. Bellows are fun to play with. So many possibilities. Look at Hammer. Aw. Matches. Look at matches. No, look at nails. Fine. Uh, matches. I wonder if lighting them is a purely physical reaction. Something to do with heat rubbing through them, I guess. Just physical, you'd say. As opposed to a mental reaction that causes you to catch on fire? Hm. Maybe I just get read the wrong uh, books. It's Pinchy, my very own crab. The world goes all blurry when I look through it. Yeah, that happens when I use LSD. Here's your monocle. Oinks! I'll be on the castle in a bit and wait for you. Got any burning barrels, signs, or torches you can bring? Dung forks would also work pretty well. Uh, sure. I'll see if I can find something. Awesome! Uh, we've gotten our first demonstrator. Hooray! Uh, this ends part one of Cedric and the Revolution. Uh, Victor, you're standing very close behind me, and I don't feel comfortable with that. I'll